Hey guys, welcome back as always, my name is Lazar and today we're gonna have a quick guide on how to do the Auto Worm and Steel Path. So essentially you finished all the bounties, you're 6 out of 6 and the objective tells you summon Auto Worm. You go to the location like so with your friends, again I recommend you do this in a party but you can do it solo as well. Oh look at the little guy, he's gonna give us the Orvius. Hey little one, can I have your Orvius please? You take the Orvius and that triggers the spawn of the worm, which should be right over there. Get upon your horse, my friends, and get ready to ride. Get him. And there it is. Now what you want to do is head towards it. Of course, you want to sprint holding your sheath key down. And you will see some balls coming at you, some projectiles. You got to pop them using your Orvius left click. Yes, you will throw your Orvius around. And that will cause you to get a big sprint boost, a big speed boost going towards the worm. Otherwise, this will take forever. So you see that that's coming. I'm using my glaive now. Boom, speed boost. And that's how you can get on top of it. Try to pop as many as you can. If you get hit, that's not a problem. Because even if you do get hit, you can reactivate using your one. Like for example now, got hit, not a problem, pressing one again. Pop another like so. Go through, get the speed boost, get in range of the auto worm. And you left click and then you press X to align the ring. The ring will be aligned according to the left side of the screen. You have an indication, look top left, yes. When you see the wave coming, simply press space to detach and then left click to reattach again. Okay, so space, detach, left click, reattach. So what I want to do is come over here and essentially line up the circles properly. The circles will be lining up properly according to the diagram on your left. See, now it's proper. There's a wave coming. Detach. Nothing easier. Look at this. Boom. It's got to go to the left. One more. Done. And there's another thing, if you're ever not sure which way it's supposed to actually line up, simply press X until it turns yellowish. Here comes the wave, I'm out of here, going back in, that's it. I think we got all of them, we got all of them, yes, we got all yeah. of them. I'm going to the head. I'm taking control by pressing X when you get to the head and all of the things have been lined up. What you gotta do now is destroy both of the towers. Hold shift, press down to sprint, use the fire breath to destroy the towers. And after you destroy both towers, you will get yourself a portal that you need to go through. This is the time to hustle. You can't waste too much time because you are on a timer. You see the timer at the bottom of the screen together with your flame breath thingy. Okay, both are destroyed. The portal should appear right now. Hustle to it as fast as you can. And this will send you into the next phase. You can skip through this cutscene, I'm just gonna let it roll so you guys can see exactly what happens. You essentially come in riding on the auto worm and all whatnot, and you transfer into your warframe of choice. If you manage to get a warframe with high uh, survivability, something like a Gara and her 2, then it's gonna be fantastic because the AoEs aren't really gonna do much to you. If you got a dispensary, that also helps, and again, any warframe with high survivability will be good if you were lucky enough to get one. If not, I'll show you the mechanics you need to understand in order to overcome the fight. It's a cool little cutscene that you can skip if you want to. I got Baruch, so I'm gonna use my daggers to survive. And these are my friends. That's beautiful. I'm gonna print screen this. The beast is Wear it down. At this point, you wanna hit the rings, the same rings you were turning earlier? Yeah, hit them with your guns, my friend, with your guns. Later on, you will get art guns in the center of the map. You will wanna pick them up and hit the rings again because those are Imperators or Imperator Vandals. They're gonna be doing a whole lot more damage than your weapon, maybe. This is the Tenant Flux Rifle. If you wanna know how to build it, link the cards right now. It's actually one of the best single target weapons in the game. There's the art guns. Pick up one quick by pressing X and start dealing the damage. Like so. Do not waste ammo. Do not unequip them because these are extremely powerful weapons that you can use in the next phases as well. There's one more ring over here. Don't waste ammo. Again, let it move around. Try to stand out of AoE. There you have it. Do not de-equip your heavy weapon just yet. The are your 
On the caves! Now, if you can survive, you can stand in the center, but normally this is what you're supposed to do, okay? This is how the mechanic should work. You go on the cave and you go the outside ring, right here, yeah? And now you're gonna be faced with the uh, drifter weapon and all whatnot. You gotta kill these little worms, you see that? Shoot these little worms. That's what you gotta do, you gotta kill 12 of them. It's a projectile based attack, it's not exactly fantastic. Keep your shift key pressed down, dodge the lasers. Essentially, this is what you're doing right now. If you have a Warframe that can survive in the center using an ability, like I said, Garas 2, because in the center what happens in that AoE blue light is essentially just six heat procs that are dealing damage to you constantly. So if you can survive that, stay there. Do not pick up the cave. Use your heavy weapon if you still have ammo in it and essentially deal damage to the wormlings like this. It's going to be a whole lot faster than chasing them upon your horse. Yes? I'll show you an example with Gara. Hopefully, if I still have that footage. It doesn't deal that much damage if you stay around here though. Look, I'm full health. It deals fire damage, see that? I got six stacks of heat on me. So I can stay here if I want to with Garas 2 enabled. But as soon as my 2 goes out, so does my health. If I activate my 2, however, on Gara, I'm good. I can stay here. So this is a heat proc, a damage over time. Yeah, just spawn us Gauss and be immune. I wish I had my normal weapons instead of this little bitty pistol. Yeah. Well, I'm using my normal weapons since I dismounted. I dismounted too, but it doesn't give me access to my normal weapons. I just have the little bit of pistol, that's it. Dodge the lasers, go through the things. You can always turn around, yes? Like this. Eleven out of twelve, one more. And we're done. Head back to the center. At this point, my friends, you already know everything you need to to kill the boss. It's rinse and repeat from this point. Guns out, get ready to go. Damn, I love this gun. You know what would be a good talking point? What exactly damage type you should have, but this is so simple, even in Steel Path, you get it done so quick, I don't think it matters all that much. I would assume maybe... Also, how do we find out? We got art guns, we got art guns, get the art guns, rinse and repeat, essentially you are doing the exact same thing you did before. You can focus with your entire team on a single one, or you can do damage to multiple, it doesn't really matter all that much. At this current time, we don't know what damage type to deal to the surface because we don't know what these rings are made of. So if we don't know what the rings are made of, what kind of armor it has, we don't know what kind of damage type to deal. It doesn't really matter either because you're going to be getting these heavy weapons, these arc guns, yes? And you can modify them, they have a base build that you use. And yes, this is steel path too, so... I do believe that's pretty much it, and we're going to be repeating what we did before. Kill the wormlings right now. Kill the wormlings with your heavy weapon. I still have my heavy weapon. See that? That is a whole lot more quicker. Which is important to save ammunition. I mean, don't waste the ammunition. Like that. Just like that. Nice and easy. Tons of spawns. Kill everything. The little worms should be your priority all the time. Rings again. You know, the first time I saw the boss, I read Matilda instead of Matilla. <laughs> the name of the <laughs> Oro Worm. <laughs> Matilda, the Oro Worm. Heavy weapons, heavy weapons in the center. Drop the one you have, get a new one, because that one was low on ammo.
One more. Stand that AoE if you can. If not, it's fine. It's so beautiful. And I do believe, my friends, as you can see, that is pretty much it to absolutely annihilating Matilda the Auto Worm on Steel Path difficulty. Bye bye, Auto Worm. That is beautiful, man. I love it. Essentially, my friends, what has happened here, you didn't kill Matilda, per se. You freed it. Yes, that's basically how it works. You essentially free the Auto Worm from her shackles, from those rings that you kept on shooting. You take the Orvius and that triggers the spawn of the Worm, which should be right over there. Get upon your horse, my friends, and get ready to ride. Get him! Oh, I'll fix him bomb. The great dragon sobra. Projectile incoming, incoming. Fire! Or yes, go for the thing, get the speed. And hook on the auto worm. Easy peasy. Now start pressing X, align all of the uh, rings properly. Dodge that wave. So when you see it coming, you simply do that. You space, you press space, and when you press space, you're gonna get off the worm. Use left click to get back on the worm. Okay, the wave is coming, I see it come. I'm gonna wait and dodge. Easy peasy. You gotta dodge the red stuff too. Sometimes like little red waves like those come, so. I'm gonna head towards the head. We got all of them lined up. We don't? No, we are missing one. Should I go for it or do you guys got it? I got it. And it's aligned. And it's aligned. Transfer control of the auto worm. Auto worm has been controlled or subdued. Destroy the first tower. Done. Rush to the second tower. Keep your shift key pressed down. The range of the fire breathing thing is about 100 meters. After you destroy the second tower, hustle to the portal which should be around 700 meters away. It seems to be a little bit constant on that. And if you do everything correctly, you should be fine. Behold my friends, Matilda, the auto war. Let's give this, there you go. Now shoot it in the uh, rings. Shoot it in the rings my friends, shoot it in the rings. Our guns deployed, go for it. Manage your ammo if you got ammo issues. I'm doing 1000 plus right now. First shot, by the way, so. How's that? Same. For consistency. Oh wow, that was really good. Wait, that's it. Jump upon your horse, my friends, and head to the outer rim. Look for the little worms. And shoot them out of the sky with great vengeance and might. Aiming helps. I found it many times it's easy to turn around on them. Like that. Got it. Got it. And another one. 7 out of 12. Come on, only 12. We need only 12. That, that's done. Head to the center. Hello, friends. Fancy meeting you here. Hi. Shoot the rings. One more. Keep your arguns. Do not be equipped at this point. Wait for enemies to show up. Shoot them out of the sky. Prioritize the little worms. Rings again. That is the auto worm fight, and I think we got this done in what, guys? A minute? 
I think it was around a minute or something of the sort. It's pretty simple. This time we didn't get Matilda. This time we got Lodun, the angry one. And the fight is pretty much the same. Just the sky changes color and I'm sure there might be some additional effects. But honestly, in actual gameplay and execution, it didn't really make a difference. And we essentially just plowed on through the encounter. It's simple, it's fun, it's enjoyable. And it's probably gonna get old after you've done it like 50 times. But it is what it is. As always, my name is Malazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, for share and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. If you got any feedback for me, I would love to read that in the comment section down below. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.